Hey guys, Lorena Magani here with New Filmmakers Los Angeles. Today, I'm talking to director Daniel Gomez about his new film, Abstraction. Let's take a look at a clip. I think I booked a job. Could be a big one. I don't know where you are. If you're even hearing this. But I need you. Abstraction is a short film about a tormented fashion photographer's last chance to recapture his career, his muse, and his mind. How did you come up with the concept for your film, Abstraction? Well, I, I like dark obsessive characters, and uh, specifically those who sort of live in a far recess of their own mind. And uh, I wanted to see, I wanted to follow the story of, of a person who, who, would, who would, you know, treat their external life via their internal thoughts and actions and the voices in their head telling them what they should and shouldn't do and how that would ultimately affect their life in the real world, in reality. And um, So it's a bit of a tragic character in, in that sense. Your shooting style is very unique. Okay. What other filmmakers influenced you? As, as a filmmaker, I'm influenced by, uh, you know, a, a, f a few filmmakers. I mean, um, I love Ridley Scott's uh, sense of creating a world and treating the world as a character. Um, and, you know, with, with, with this film, not that I'm comparing myself to Ridley Scott, but with this film, uh, it's, it's a sad story about a, a dark character. But he's a photographer, so inherently everything he sees is beautiful. So I wanted to make sure that the entire world that we created was, you know, vibrant and just, you know, just uh, relentlessly beautiful. Like, it's a curse that he sees things this way. Um, and also, you know, uh, Christopher Nolan, I love his... Uh, uh, sophisticated storytelling and so a nice thing that we that I figured out with a short film was if I told a non chronological story but in a linear way emotionally I could uh, create like an expansive world and create a something that felt longer than a short film it felt more like a feature and paced paced like a feature too uh, and then of course there's Sam Mendes who you know the way he blocks cameras and uh, uh, blocks the actors and uses the camera to tell a story and um, it's very specific and there's always subtext and there's always reasoning behind where the camera's placed and why we're seeing a, an actor do a certain thing. And so I, I, I like to try and find the best of everyone and try and uh, you know use that for myself. I don't know if I necessarily do that, but... Um, what were some of the challenges that you faced? You know, with any short film, budget is always a, uh, an issue and we raised enough money to, to get the film in the can, but I knew that I wouldn't have enough money for post, right? So. Uh, as well as you know, flights of actors and actors getting stuck here and there, and sort of changing people around, and uh, switching out my DP like right before, and all kinds of stuff, and you know, everything worked out really well, which was a nice thing. The actual shoot itself was um, four days, uh, late November, a couple of years ago, and um, we were fighting winter light. You know, so light was changing the whole time. The days were very short. Um, luckily it was one location so we could move but it was really tight as to uh, you know, how much shooting time we had. Luckily everything went well. Um, the, m you know, the majority of the problems came in post trying to finish the film um, but the production of it actually ran pretty smoothly. I was very happy with what we got. 